Frank Holden here at Humor Mill TV. What's up, everybody? We're at the Wilbur Theater in Boston. I'm with my man, Mr. Corey Holcomb. Corey, how you doing? What's up, man? How you doing, Frank? I'm all right. Uh, what you don't know, my man just shot his one hour, one hour special? Yeah, one hour, maybe a little more than an hour. You know how it go. <laughs> Where are you shooting it for? Um, I'm shooting this special because um, I feel like what I got to say needs to be out there. There's a lot of people doing specials, but they're represented. I'm not represented. I bet on myself, and uh, we're going to see what it do. Any network in, involved with this? or I wasn't worried about it. I just wanted to have it on deck. I wanted to own it. I ain't want no other hands in it. I did stuff like that before, and it didn't work out, so... This is a, a Corey Holcomb type production right here. You know what I'm saying? I understand. I understand. So how is your special different from everybody else? Um, I think talently I stand out. You know what I'm saying? That ain't to knock what nobody else did. But, you know, I want to, I want to, I'm glad that people did specials so people can see it on Netflix and everything. So then when you see mine, you get to see, oh, this can go up another notch. <laughs> And there's a lot of things that you talk about in your special. What would you say would be the outline theme that people would walk away taking away? Even though I saw the t-shirts, I know some of the answer to this. When they walk away after they see Corey Holcomb. What I do is I take life that everybody is ashamed of and I speak on it. All the stuff that you don't feel good about, like your Ill illegitimate kids, um, you know what I'm saying? The drunk brother sleeping on the couch, uh, messing up your relationship because you ain't going to kick him out. You know, stuff like that, man. I, I, I feel like I know how to make that type of stuff funny. It's just everyday conversation that I'm not scared to put out there. I like the way Richard Pryor used to put it out there. Richard Pryor used to do cocaine. Now, a lot of these comedians out here, they'll talk about, yeah, I smoke a little bud, but they won't talk about all that cocaine they do. <laughs> you shy motherfucker. Still doing hard drugs and shit. Ain't nobody cooking that shit no more. Get you some pills, fool. <laughs> Well, switching it up a little bit, we know you're still doing Wild Now. What's it like doing, you know, the new season of Wild Now? Well, they're getting ready to film some new ones, and I think I'm going to be um, on again because it works for me. Um, I'm quick. When people say stuff, I think of stuff right away. So the show works for me. I'm one of the OGs on the show, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, because, it, it you know, I get a lot of positive feedback from the show, so I still do it. My man Nick Cannon, good looking out, boy. Got any films coming out? Because I heard a couple of things. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's like Hollywood want to mess with me, but then when they meet me, I, I know I'm different. So not in a bad way. Um, it's just um, there's a lot of people in Hollywood who are used to up-and-coming acts um, humbling themselves just because they don't want to rub nobody the wrong way. No bad intent. I'm not like that. I'm going to be myself. And... Um, path that I'm walking, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's ahead, but I'm not going to switch it up because some producer bitch don't like it. You know who you are. Yeah, bitch. I also, man, I heard some things about radio too. I mean, you're in all aspects of everything. Radio coming too? Well, I do this internet show called The 5150 Show and, um, you know, this is just a show we do out of my office on the internet and it's, we done had over 5 million hits. That's enough to um, get the attention of networks and everything. But the only thing about it, my show is a little controversy. That's the word they use, controversial. But my show is honest. We talk about everything that's happening from the crooked cops, all the stuff that um, CNN won't say. We're willing to say it on my Corey Hogan 5150 show. Just Google Corey Hogan 5150 show. It don't matter what episode you watch, let the adventure begin. Lastly, what else you got coming out that we don't know about that you're gonna surprise everybody out? Well, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the film crew that um, helped me put this thing together, I plan on getting with them because um, I think that I can put together a movie that will stand out. That movie Friday, it didn't cost a lot of money to make, and it made a lot of money. I think I'm that dude. I think I could put together something like that that everybody would like because I know the young talent out there that doesn't necessarily get a shot, but if they get a chance to be on film, they're going to shine. Well, tell everybody out there how they can follow you and everything else. Well, I mainly deal with my Twitter. It's the Corey Holcomb on Twitter. Same thing with uh, the Instagram. And then Facebook is Corey Holcomb. Um, I say a lot of crazy stuff, so don't take me um, don't take me seriously to the point where you're ready to fight me when you see me. It's this little um, punk ass dude from um, Dallas who took heed to something I said about the military. All my military brothers out there, you know I got love for you. A lot of y'all tell it like it is, but he got sensitive about it old. Feelings having ass motherfucker. I'll be in Dallas. Front up on me. Come correct. <laughs> Fool ass. Fitness ass motherfucker. Go ahead. Yo, that's Corey Holcomb, Frank Holder, Humor Mill TV at Wilbur Theater in Boston. I'll see y'all next time.